hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to create a simple slot text effect right in premiere pro so today we're going to be looking at this effect right here on the screen if i play this you're going to see something like this from the beginning you're going to see a text effect just like this and this is what we're going to try to recreate right in premiere pro today so it's actually going to be easy so let's dive right in with the tutorial So in order to create the slot text effect right in Premiere Pro, first of all, you want to simply click on this page button right here with a folded corner. It's called the new item button. Simply click on that button and select the color mat. Now you want to set the width and the height to 1920 by 1080 respectively. Click on OK and it's going to show you this color picker tool right here which you can select any color. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to choose only white. So I'm going to click on OK, click on OK for this also. Now I'm going to drag the color mat and place it under here. And it's going to create something like this as you can see here on the screen. Now I'm going to minimize the audio tracks so we only have the video tracks because we're going to work totally with the video tracks. So now with this, I can simply click on the text to right here. Click on it and I'm going to type in a text right here on the screen. I'm going to type in E and two G's. You don't know what that is, that's an egg. So I'm going to type in egg and next thing is that you can't actually see it right now because it is white in color. The fill part of this is actually white. I'm going to highlight everything this way as you can see it has been highlighted. And right here under effect controls is that I'm going to open the text layer for the egg. I'm going to go down and right here where it says fill on the appearance. I'm going to simply click on that and set it to a black color so you can actually see it on the white background. So now with this you want to simply move down and you can actually increase the size using the scale properties of this. You can increase the size anyhow you want. Want, you can position it at the middle of the screen but for this i suggest you position it right here in the middle of the screen if you don't like the way the letters are you can simply go back there change any one you like shift it and even make it bold letters or even small letters any one of these you can do that step by step if you like so now with this i don't like using the normal 20th century font or the normal default font from premiere pro so i'm going to go down and choose one of my favorite fonts in the book so i installed a lot of fonts if you want to know how to install fonts on premiere pro simply tell me a yes down in the comment below and I'll make a video relating to that issue. So now I'm going to choose a font right here in Premiere Pro. I installed a lot of fonts, so I'm going to choose one of the best ones in the book. And if you want, to, if you want this font, you can see it or find the link to it in the description below. So now here we are, and we have actually did all this. We have colored everything, and here we are with this effect. So now the next thing you want to simply do is that you want to duplicate this text layer according to the numbers or the letters of word you have. For this, we have E g and g that is only three letters three letters so i'm gonna duplicate this three times so holding down your alt key simply duplicate this to the layer above three times so there we have it we have duplicated that to the layer above three times which is the one two and three so now the next thing is that in order for this not to confuse you click on the toggle track output right here click on everything and close everything now for the first one right here for the first one at the bottom or anyone at the top you want to simply go for the bottom one and open it you're going to see this whole letters right here and the next thing you want to simply do is that taking the text tool you want to simply highlight the 2g and what you want to simply do is that right here on the appearance you want to simply deselect fill it's going to leave you with only the e which is actually great now you want to still close that track again click on the toggle track output to close it and open the one in the middle select that clip and now here what you want to simply do is that you want to close the e so we're going to go to fill deselect e and now you want to still do that for the g so the select fill for the g which is for the second track or the second layer of the text so now we're going to close this by clicking on the toggle track output body and open up the last one which is the egg the last one so we're going to click on that and now we're going to hide the e and the g together so right here under the text effect so we're simply going to click on fill to remove that so now with this you have each letter on each layer so with this you can simply see that each letter has a new layers by itself so that's what you actually want if you toggle all this on and off you're going to see that each letter are in a separate layer and now with this you can actually go further by clicking on the first one heading to your effect controls and here you want to look for the offset effect the offset effect that's what you want to look for you can look for that find that under the stop drag this and place it on the first text layer drop that there and now you want to simply move to the middle of the frame or middle of your 
text letters somewhere in the middle right here now what you want to simply do is that you want to set a keyframe for the shift center to click on that and now you want to simply go back to the beginning of the frame and next is that you want to offset the y value which is 540 in my case it might be different for you it might be 960 or anyhow so for this is 540 so i'm going to simply deselect this and i'm going to change this to something around minus 5000 it's different for each case so but make sure it's somewhere around minus 5000 with that you see that the e gets displaced a little bit but still yes, that's not bad for the next thing you want to simply do is that right here under effects simply select everything delete the offsets and type in directional blur look for the directional blur effect drag this and place it on the first text layer so with that right here you want to simply set a keyframe for the blur length also at the beginning of the clip you want to set that to 30 set it to 30 and somewhere at the middle where you still have the same keyframe with the offset the same keyframe right here in the middle you want to set this back to zero so with this you have something clean like this again so now to take this more advanced you want to simply open this click on this arrow right here and open it up now holding down your control key simply click on the last keyframe holding down your control key you're gonna see it changes the arrow to something like this simply drag this forward a little bit you can drag it forward as long as you like so just drag that forward until it has no more power to go forward again then you can leave it that way close that open up the offset part also now open the animation for the shift to center open that up again now click on the last keyframe and holding down the control key do the same thing we did for the direction of blow drag it a little bit forward until you have something like this so what we have just done is that we have just added a little bit motion into the offset which means is that at the beginning of the clip it's going to go a little bit faster and end up slower so this is what we have just done if you don't understand what we did so that's what we did so now closing these two up simply want to click on both of them holding down your control key select the directional blow and the offset okay select both of them clicking on ctrl c you can copy everything and paste this on the other two layers above using ctrl v you can paste that there so with that you have the offset be sure that each of them are applied to each of the clips as you can see for this layer in the middle we have the offset and the directional blow which means it was applied and for this one also we still got the same thing so now what you want to simply do is that right here on this second track you want to simply hold down your alt key hold down the shift key and press the right button once once you do that it's going to offset the middle one by 10 frames and for the upper run what you want to simply do is that hold on your shift key the alt key and you want to click the right button two times so this is going to offset this one by 20 frames so for that you have something cool like this so if i'm going to play this back you're going to get some little motion blur right here it's going to be very easy and epic as you can see right here on the screen and that's the simple text effect right in premiere pro the simple slot text effect so if you like this video smash the thumb be below this video click that subscribe button if you want to learn more about premiere pro thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one